Danny from Dub Auto Works here. I'm going to explain some things to you today about uh, dual mass versus single mass flywheels. So, in about '99, <clears throat> Volkswagen started using an Audi, started using a dual mass flywheel. So, here's one of them, and on the clutch disc, you'll see it's got a solid hub, there's no springs on the inside. See, traditionally, you would have a clutch disc with springs in it to take up for when you give it gas or let off the gas and um, you know push the clutch, let out the clutch so the car you know doesn't jerk around. But what Volkswagen and Audi decided was that instead of putting the springs into the clutch disc, they would put it into the flywheel. So when you give it gas or let off the gas, the flywheel moves because it has springs in it. The problem with that is that these are like a six or seven hundred dollar flywheel, and if you look. This flywheel's broken. It it rocks back and forth like this, up and down, which it shouldn't do, and that kills the clutch. This one is frozen solid and doesn't even spin anymore. So pretty much they're junk, and um, you know, just buying a clutch and a flywheel if you're going to go with this setup is you know like a thousand dollars just for the parts. These things weigh about 24 pounds, so. It keeps the mass up, or it keeps the engine rotating at a high RPM between shifts, but it's not really necessary. So, what Valeo and Saks came up with, and their original manufacturers for Volkswagen and Audi and BMW too, and probably some others, probably most of the European brands, um, they decided to make a flywheel that would fit these cars and get rid of the springs in the flywheel. <clears throat> so it's it's lighter it's you know probably 15 pounds instead of 22 23 um, it's stronger it doesn't break and most importantly it is seven hundred dollars for everything instead of you know a thousand or eleven hundred so four or five hundred dollars cheaper the only difference is you're gonna feel the car kind of pick up speed and and lose speed when you um, give it gas let off the gas and push the clutch in and out uh, for the price um, you really can't beat going with this kit. There's not really a downside, honestly. We have never installed a new one of these, um, and I've never had any complaints. So you're saying, why can't you just surface this flywheel? Well, because of the way that there's springs in here, they can't put this in a lathe. This would bounce around when you're trying to machine it. And um, so there are a couple places out there that will I don't know, they have a fixture or something that goes through these holes so that they can machine it, but I mean, look at this, and this one's broken. So you do that, you put it back in, and it seizes up or starts making noise, and you're pretty much out of luck, and you get to pay the labor again. So nobody really goes with these, everybody pretty much goes with these, and you can save yourself, you know, five, six, seven, I think the list on these is actually like a thousand in some cases, and these are used in Basically all 1.8 turbos, uh, 24 valve VR6s use them, um, I think, well I know S4s and stuff use them, like the 2.7 turbo B5 S4s, they use them, um, B6 S4s use them, but basically almost everything after like 99, I think the you know 99 through 02 12 valve VR6s still use a solid flywheel if I remember correctly, but anyways. Just go with a solid mass conversion and uh, you'll be happy with it, it'll be cheaper, you won't have to worry about it breaking and do it once and just be done with it.